really, really fantastic counter because it can initiate on both the Weaver as well as the Nature's Prophet and pretty much hard counter them in, in certain situations. But also, it gives you that extra control. Jay yeah, Kuroki going in on Jay. The Hex blood. goes down. He gets the stun. This looks like plenty of damage coming out from Havos with that Rocket Barrage. That will be our first blood. Universe going to port in. Maybe not the greatest decision right there. He's going to be reasonably safe under the tower, but I think... Oh, Hookshot comes in from MSS. Havos looks like he's going to lose this first blood gold. The ult does come down from the Gyrocopter. Picks off the Clockwork in the back, but Kuroki also going to die, most likely. Got frozen down by that TP from Fogged. So good counter rotation coming in from EG to make sure that that trade ended up even too for two they dropped their off they smoked up and i say supports but it is not only the supports and mss with oh, the hook another shot. hook shot going in gonna try and catch it on Havos. gets him right in the cogs a lot of damage coming out though from that rocket barrage the gyrocopter ult is gonna fly gonna almost take down mss but gyrocopter will fall first and it looks like mss is gonna get away the plague wards most likely not gonna have enough damage to take him down not sure yet universe gonna back off Fog's got very, very low. Fogged is the sole casualty for EG right there. Frantic pings coming out from Na'Vi to investigate those side woods, but there is no one there. MSS is long gone. Now Fear coming into the top lane. Maybe one to go in on Kuroki and Puppy, knowing that there's not a lot of mana left between the two of them. The one stun is pretty much all that's available from that pair. The stun comes out from J.O. That's going to be a dead Venomancer. EG getting some damage done, but we do have Dendi in in the back with that double damage rune, sniping off the Nature's Prophet behind enemy lines. And even then, so we still end up with a pretty even trade just in terms of raw numbers, but Dandy might be in trouble. Stun is going to fly out. It is going to land. Fear maybe going to get the damage done. Yes, the cogs. The cogs from MSS making sure Dendi could not possibly zip. Oh, we do have an engagement coming into the top lane. Lots of damage coming out from that Gyrocopter ultimate. J.O. might be the first to fall, but Clockwork does pick off the Venomancer in the background. Havos wants to go in, wants to pick off Fogged, wants to make this a two for one. He does manage to pick off, but MSS in the back once again, getting some cogs off. There is a pickoff coming out on the Lion in the background as well, but MSS also going to fall to the Wrath of that Rocket Barrage. Funnick thinking about trying to chase someone down. Want to give Havost any sort of chance to snowball. MSS going right back in. Universe going to pour it in as well. Puppy going to be caught in the trees. Battery Assault is running. Going to start catching the Venomancer. He will fall. Does MSS have a hook shot? Yes, he does. They do not have vision, though. Right choice right here. MSS oh, going to take a finger of death in the mid lane. Gets stunned by Denny, but Denny immediately zips out, knowing that the stun was charging up from Jao. Fear going to get bugs on all three heroes. That's a lot of minus armor going to be taking out. Kuroki looks like he might be the first one to go. He is going to get picked off right there. Only casualty so far, but Universe coming in. Havos coming in from the top lane. That ult is only going to hit one. The vacuum gets in, but still only J.O. going to get caught by that damage. That's slow. Crystal Maiden ultimate is going to fly, but Navi kind of skirting the edges of it, not taking a whole lot of damage from it, mostly just zoning them out. Looks like a two-for-two two exchange in the end. Pair of supports in exchange for an offlaner and a support, but it's not over yet. By that, I mean um, a couple overextends and allowing Havos to get his full combo off and kind of just passing through the river. But hold that thought. Fear at the bottom lane. Yeah, Fear getting stunned out very, very hard by that Lion. But then a lot of return damage coming in. MSS once again. Universe going to pour it in as well. We do have the Gyrocopter popping his BKB that he just picked up and managing to pick up, <laughs> pick off MSS very quickly there. And Havos actually was godlike right there before he got picked off. I can't see quite how much gold he just gave up because of all that spam from rewards. But Dendi is going to zip in, pick off that Nature's Prophet. Funnick also trying to chase down JR right here. Fog's going to try and zone them out with the Crystal Nova. He has the Frostbite available. So if a surge were to happen, he'd be able to do something. And ended up giving himself 1.2k extra gold. But, but really, man. Havos just making all the necessary movements and giving his team every edge. Oh, and there we go. Actually, the Crystal Maiden going to pick up the Storm right there, and MSS is going in once again. He catches Funnick in the cogs. Huge vacuum coming in into the ultimate from the Gyrocopter. So much AoE damage coming out. EG getting destroyed. Universe now in full retreat as the rest of his team has gotten annihilated. Fear also just trying to get away, not be there. This is going to be an easy, easy tower for now that even if they manage to push you back, zone you out, they can't get anything out of it. They can't get any objectives. Looks like Fear might be positioning himself a little dangerous here. Oh, MSS gonna hook shot in. Has that battery assault running. Kuroki not taking a lot of damage. Reasonably uh, good life. But between the Weaver and the uni uh, ultimate from Universe spiraling in, you have some scouting wards uh, available from the from Navi. They have full vision of EG's positioning right here. J.O. leading the charge with that ultimate active. And MSS gonna hook in, gonna try to get Puppy, make sure he doesn't get that ultimate off. He does get it off. Looks like he got both J.O. and MSS. Did he get anyone else? I don't think so. So, oh, big vacuum gonna come in. Big ultimate gonna come out from the gyrocopter. Tons of AoE damage with that rocket barrage, with the ultimate, with the flak cannon. And now he's just going in. He's going full man mode on Universe of Host, knowing that not only did he have that eight. 
Looking for another kill. Oh, Zip comes in right onto Fogged. He is not going to live. Tons of damage coming out from Dendi. Attempted four staff to save Fogged. Coming out from Universe, who now knows that he just wants to get away. Cancels his port, actually. Doesn't feel confident that he's going to get out before a stun hits. And the vacuum lands from Funic onto his next portal. He's just going to throw the ultimate and then fall. Wanted to get that AO. E damage bouncing around the map. And it looks like fear. He's gonna be doing a little bit of spike. Oh, is. they caught him. Yeah, Dendi does get him. The vacuum slowed everything down. Oh, there's the orchid coming out. The hex is there. The gem is there as well. Nothing fear can do. And the finger of death to finish it off. Karoki saying, You are not pulling some bull crap. You are not getting away from us. You are gonna go down. No nice set of trees out on a Havos. Putting in a little bit of damage. We do have the stun coming in from Jail. Oh, and MSS gonna get the hook shot. Tons of damage coming out. That's gonna be a wasted ages from Havos and probably a second death. He has the BKB. Maybe he just wants to BKB TP and no, EG not going to commit. They're just going to back off. They're going to be satisfied with taking away that Aegis. But Gyrocopter, another 4,000. Like, uh, that doesn't phase Havost at all. He's just going to go in with his BKB active. Looks like it's going to burn most of the BKB charge. He's now not in the best position. There's another fight going on off on the side. Havost is going to pop the ultimate. Lion has been picked off, but Havos taking out, putting out a ton of damage. The time lapse does come out from fear. He really wants to finish off that gyro, but he's too afraid of the damage he puts out. Universe is going to buy back. Stun going in on Havos. That's going to be a very, very dead gyrocopter. And then MSS is going to be cogging in Puppy. Looks like he's got the rocket barrage running once again. He had the blade mail running as well. And the ult does go out at the very last second. Maybe that poison sting. We'll manage to pick him off at the very end of that, but it might not quite last long enough. MSS needs to get back to the fountain. I'm not sure if he's going to live through this. Oh, no, it looks like he is. He's going to just barely make it back to the fountain. The ultimate wears off. And what they're probably going to look to do now is probably just farm up their jungle a little bit. Maybe a smoke gank, or maybe Dandy can just oh, jump on it. Dandy going in, in on Fog. She's going to go down very, very nicely. The gem of true sight. Yeah. Funnick's not there. He's got his TP in the top lane, but if EG can get an initiation before he actually shows up, this could be really big. The TP has now just come to the mid lane. Looks like Fear is trying to zone out the supports. Kuroki does oh, get surged man. away. There is a fight happening. Down there, Crystal Maiden does get picked off by Dendi on that Storm Spirit. The Cogs from MSS not really doing a whole lot. Nice double stun coming out on Puppy and Havos right there. J.O. going to try and put damage out, but the BKB, the Flat Cannon, the Vacuum goes down. Too much damage comes out from that Rocket Barrage. Havos just ripping people to shreds over and over again. Same story, different chapter, every fight. Triple kill from Havos. Pretty sure that's what he ended up with last time as well. He has been thrown away, but I'm going to have to Dendi hold that Dendi zipping in on Fog right up. there. Yeah, he just gets destroyed once again. Dendi going to get stunned up a little bit. Lots of damage coming out. He might get picked off. Oh, J.O. MSS missing the hook shot right there. Hooking onto J.O. instead of onto Dendi. Oh, I don't... He that was, was really weird. still, man. He was stunned. I don't, yeah. I don't know how he missed that, because that would have been... That 300 damage probably would have finished off Dendi right there, especially since he already had that the uh, the battery assault running. But Havos just coming in, putting out a ton of damage. Flat cannons going down. Rocket barrage as well. The gyrocopter ult has already been fired. Fear now just BKB'd, running away. Knows he can't stand up to Havos right here. Gonna time lapse. Baited up. Just looking really, really tough. And Havos just pops the BKB, decides to hit the Raskus, saying, I don't care. Nothing's gonna stop me. He's still at Aegis. He still has Satanic. He has a million ways to get himself back into this. And he just puts out so much more damage than that Weaver. Aegis is going to get popped. He's going to respawn right in the middle of these two Raxes. I don't think they're going to have anything to shut him down. They are going to get the Alk stun coming out. Storm Spirit does pick off Fogged in the background. Dendi getting that work done. Now coming in, focusing on the MSS, making sure he can't disrupt this fight any more than he already has. Clockwork and Alchemist both going to fall. Fear might be next to go. They do. Do they have the gem available? Oh, Dendi does get picked off, so somebody does fall to the damage output from that Weaver. But now, I am i don't know why oh, they're really Kuroki. chasing him that far. Really, really nice stun from Mavikaroki. And the Finger of Death brings down the mid racks. They're happy to just back off. Oh, hook shot coming in onto Havos from MSS. Oh, but MSS gets vacuumed out, meaning Havos not getting caught by that battery assault right now. Fog's going to try to channel the ultimate, but getting immediately MKB'd out of it, interrupting his channeling. Universe looks like he's the next target, going to just barely be caught by the edge of that Gyrocopter ultimate, getting a little bit of slow coming down there. Looks like the damage might not be able to catch up, though. Gyro not quite able to catch up in terms of the move speed. Fear now trying desperately to run away from the rest of Na'Vi. Maybe he's trying to just get out of here. He's got Hex, he's got the Shikuchi running. Damage just going very, very slowly on him, but he is going to eventually... There's just not many not many opportunities, if, if any, for EG to come back right now. They're stunning up Havos, but he doesn't care once again. Demonstrating that he's going to muscle through everything he wants. And now he's just got a flat cannon up very, very soon, but he is out of mana. Still, what, does, what he does have is damage. So outright damage output. He's going in. He has the Satanic ready to go if he needs. And EG's heroes falling inside their own base. Not a good sign for victory. <laughs>
Yeah, it's never a good thing when you're getting fountain dived at such a big tournament. Puppy looks like he's gonna. Oh no, he goes scepters out. Havos now just going in. Pops the satanic to give himself a little bit of life leech, and there's the GG coming out from EG. Navi gonna take our first game here on stream, Charlie at MLG Columbus.